Hi, today we're going to talk about the make model year problem in Iron Speed Designer. This is a situation that happens when you have a need to relate different drop downs together. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about that specific issue uh, using the make model year example. We're then going to solve the problem by modifying the query. And once it's solved, we're going to bask in the glory because it's a thing of beauty. So let's get started. In this situation, we have a couple of different drop downs. We have a make drop down that contains different makes or manufacturers of vehicles. We also have a second drop down uh, that shows a list of different models of vehicles. Uh, each model belongs to one and only one make. So, how do we get our model drop down list to show only the models that belong to the selected make? This is the classic make model year problem. So what we'll do, and I'm going to show this in the demo right away, we're going to select the model ID control in Iron Speed Designer, and then we're going to switch over to the properties window, and uh, we're going to look down the list so we see the queries section, and we're then going to click the ellipsis to uh, edit our query. So let's do that. Now, first thing that happens is the add where clause wizard comes up. <clears throat> And what we want to do is select make ID from the drop down list. Uh, models will already be selected. Uh, and then we're going to click formula. And what you can do is you can go right click uh, and select the value that you want to relate this to. And Iron Speed will automatically put in uh, all of the extra code that you need uh, to get this working. So on that note, let's now uh, go ahead and I'll demo the same thing. I've created a sample application. Uh, for make model year. In this case, I'm now going to click add and you'll note that when I click the make drop down, I have a sorted list of uh, vehicle manufacturers. However, uh, if I go ahead and select Ford and then I drop down to select my model, in this case you can see that we clearly have more vehicles, uh, more uh, models of vehicles um, than uh, just Ford and obviously that's wrong. You, you want to make sure that that everything is related properly. So this is the issue that we have is that clearly uh, Iron Speed's not going to know that these two are, are related in that sense. They are related in the database schema, but not obviously the data itself. And so that's the problem that we need to select. And then of course the same thing will be with the years and we'll, you know, would want to probably deal with that as well. So I'm going to stop this, go back into the, into the uh, design mode and show you how, uh, as we showed in the, in the PowerPoint slide, how to fix this problem. I'm now back in design mode using the layout editor. First thing I need to do is select the model ID control, which is of type drop down list, and then go over and select the model ID query. We want to edit that query. When that comes up, we'll click on the where uh, icon and then go add where clause. Models table is already pre selected for us, but we want to work with the make ID. So we're going to select the make ID field and then select formula. Now, very simply, in this case, we want to go right click, but we don't want to pick the record. We want to pick another UI control. And in this case, clearly we want to pick the make ID. Uh, and you'll note that when we do that, uh, Iron Speed automatically puts in the selected value uh, attribute for us, which is great. So we'll click OK, we'll click Next. Uh, we won't worry about the order by, I'll just click Finish. And at this point now, I'll hit Save and do a live preview. And what we should see now is a filtered list of models for uh, each different selected make. So let it let it let it finish its work. And there we go. So the first thing I'm going to pick is Ford. And then when I click the model, you can see here that I only have two entries. Isn't that fantastic? Now, if I go back and I pick Jaguar, I now have three choices. So you can see how nicely uh, that works. So I can go ahead and I can do what I want. In this case, you'll note that we have not gone back and selected the year. So again, that is slightly problematic, but uh, we could easily go back and fix that as well in that regard and continue on and, and save and add new records and so on as the case may be. And it's really just that simple. So again, the key is to select the second dropdown, go over to the uh, supporting query for that dropdown, uh, Open up the query wizard, select the where tab. Now in this case, this already exists, but otherwise we do an add where clause. We can certainly go in and edit this. And then the key here is right here in the formula 
where we want to uh, select the uh, other drop down, whatever drop down that is. In this case, it's obviously the Make ID, and it's really that simple. Now, this is done uh, for us. This is stored with the application, and uh, and away we go. And um, and it's really just that simple. And in conclusion, uh, we can see now how easy it was to solve the Make Model Year drop down related drop down list problem. So really filtering related dropdowns is very easy and we can, uh, means we can relate by different factors, uh, which is great. And of course, easier filtering means a faster turnaround, uh, it means that the data uh, looks and feels right. And of course, you only show what you want shown uh, when you want it. So thank you for watching this video. Um, one last little note, if you're looking for any kind of full localization tools for your iron speed projects, Milestone Localizer does offer that. Uh, it's a fantastic, easy tool please visit ironspeedmvp.com localizer. Thank you.